hi everyone welcome back and in this playlist we are talking about swell kit so we'll start with the very basics like uh, how to do the routing how to handle the form actions how the how we can run the functions at the server side all these things so first of all let's start with very basic is how we are defining the routes and how we can define the apis so that let's say how we can fetch the data and inject the data inside a component template this is my simple page so whenever you hit forward slash this layout will come into picture and this page will get rendered okay so let's play with something in the routes i want to create an api route api routes are special routes in which you can define uh, methods and i mean you can you what you need to do is you will define methods and you can return some json response by calling some other external api or if you already have some data you can generate dy uh, dynamic data in the code and here i'm going to have posts because posts is the api and inside the, let's say if i'm doing some blog post stuff i can just make the i can pass the id post id because there are two different apis i'm writing one is when you hit a forward slash post so i will create a plus server dot ts here i think yeah it's a we are using typescript and then another file i'm going to add inside a post id i wanted to get the data of an individual post server dot ts now you can see till now we were talking about plus page dot swelt plus layout dot swelt plus page dot server dot ts plus page dot ts similarly for the writing the apis we have to add plus server dot ts okay now i wanted to fetch all the number of i mean there are some open apis we can use them and we can render just uh, some dummy json okay so how to define the apis here so the route is post and this is server.js for it so what we can do is we can define the post apis export const so this is the syntax for that and this is a sync function it will access your request i will add the typings and all now here you can just get the body let's say i'm doing some post calls we don't need to do a lot of things here await request.json so this is my body even we can get the authorization header like let's say in some api you are passing some cookies headers authorization headers and all you can do all those things on the request object i'm talking because this is just a simple example but this is how you will do it request dot headers okay request should be of type do we have any type for this request dot get let's say authorization where you are passing bearer and jwt tokens or something like that okay and here you can return if you are passing payload if you are passing the valid auth header i'm just writing a some some sample example which is no not doing anything and here i will just compare it with uh, if this is the case you can just say uh, you can just simply do a return you will do a new response uh, you need to create the response object new response json.stringify you can do you can send a payload do it something like this so here we can also specify the status i mean uh, new response object and inside response object i think i can specify the status which is status is 401 and here the status is 200 so this is an api we have created 
right and similarly you can actually define a get api because we are going to use get only post is just for an example i was talking about and here i can use fetch to make another api call to get the data so what i will do is const response equal to await here we don't have anything in the body await fetch here we can use some existing api which is giving us the 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 blogs then we can do const data await response dot json this will give us serialized data and then we can do is return rest okay so from request you can hit the get request and you will access the data i mean you will be able to read the data because here we are making we are going to make a api call to some request something like this if you talk about request and url these two parameters and this is all about uh, triggering an external api call and making the request response.data these are like two apis we have written similarly for the post id we have server.ts so this api we are going to hit when we when i want to get the data of a particular post id so i'm just passing the post id through the params params.post id and same uh, whenever you are passing a uh, something like this uh posts forward slash post id which is anything numeric or string this api will get hit and you will get the response back okay so here we have server.ts for the post id and the server.ts for the posts we can just run this and we'll check it's running on this port okay so here you can see these are the api routes when i click on api posts it is giving me all the posts and when i am doing one passing the id then it is giving me that particular post okay that means these apis works we have actually created the server side apis uh, server side api routes in the svelte kit now let's say we wanted to create we wanted to consume these uh, apis in the components right so what we will do is inside routes we'll create a folder posts and inside that there will be a slug because these are the api routes here we can create another folder which is post id and now what we are going to do inside post there will be a page.ts what would we render when we when you change the url to posts not api posts so plus page.svelte and page.ts where we will write a load function okay similarly for the the post id because post id is where we are going to render an individual post we can actually copy these two files and we'll put it here okay now let's feed the data inside these in the page dot ts of posts now we are working only these two files okay so we'll go to page dot ts here we will write our load function export const load function and you can use fetch so here we can access the api route api route which is await fetch api v1 api post this is async function so let's make it async okay inside load we actually have two functions fetch post uh, we can either we make it async function or we can do it something like this const fetch post async 
and we will call this function and what we will return is now we will return the data and how we are going to access that is important how you can access this data in your component template i mean the swelt gs component here we will get response to data equal to await response dot json serialize the data and what we are going to return from this is data dot post fetch posts whatever you are returning we are actually we are returning the post from here right this is what this function the load function is returning so how this data can be consumed inside the component so this is how we define our uh, spelled component script tag sorry and inside this whatever you are getting from the load function here we will access the data everything we will access that is a data and inside data dot posts this is how you will access save and you can run a for each i mean uh, the each block in spelled yes data dot posts as post and what do we do is how do we will close this using each and inside this we can render whatever the data we were looking for so here post dot body and post dot title simple now this data how this data is coming this data is coming from this page dot ts this post so it is returning a disk in the whole is data object so how you will access the post data dot posts in your component data dot posts this is an array and you are doing iteration on this and then returning that post dot title and post dot body okay so this is post id and now we can also talk about post id which is which will have same set of code because here we are we are going to read the individual post data i will copy some of the code from page.ts to this page.ts because here we are going to access the params and we i will just pass params dot post id this is the the param parameter right post id which is dynamic post id and here we can ex pass the id api post and dynamic expression we can pass the id here dynamically okay so this this can serve as the data of individual post and we just need to write our template okay this is the data we received and this is my swelt component i got the data so i'm just printing title and body let's see this without api how it works post is it running okay this this works we got all the posts i can do this forward slash one so this data is coming from the component okay some error title is undefined that is correct data dot post dot title data dot post dot body and we are passing post api posts id i think we did small mistake this is data uh, this should be data only because we are getting the whole data not the post for the another api call yeah we got it we can go back and then we can just click on individual post and we get the data okay 
simple this is just only talking about how you define the api routes and how you can access those apis through the swelled components like here now i created the the page routes and in the page route i'm accessing the apis defined by the api routes the the post and post by id both the apis i'm consuming in the components and accessing the data now there can be another thing we can do the movies any component based routing or we can do some kind of a, a pokemon kind of application where we can see how you can load the data at the server side and at the client side so let's say stop another route i'm creating inside routes okay these are the api routes post shop and if you wanted to create a custom layout for the shop then you can do it right what you will do is plus layout dot swelt and you define your template this, this is how you will access the slots and this is your new bar which will be available and inside this you can create your component plus page dot swelt and inside this you can define what you want to do right so it can be your so inside shop now you can create a further children's because in this layout you are trying to access the movies posts and all right so similarly you can keep adding things on top of this let's say the movie Till now what we were doing is these posts uh, are the swelled routes dynamic routes which we were which we were accessing the apis defined by the dynamic api routes now let's say i create a new folder which is movies inside the route and here i can create two things one is a page dot swelled and i wanted to fetch something from the when the from the server side which is plus page dot server dot ts okay because here the data which i'm going to fetch is coming from maybe imdb or something so it will be export const load we can make this as a sync function and what it will do is this is cons let's say put some console console.log server load run load function is running so we will just get this when you render this page const fetch movies and this is again a sync function and this is just a function inside function so we can return one of it fetch movies and we are going to call some imdb api for this here i get uh, the movies and i will call fetch movies so inside fetch movies what you can do is const response equal to await we are using accessing the fetch function and i already have some api set which we can use here it's plain and plain and simple i'm not writing it i already have a snippet available and we'll just add this api key for this we can import dot env config because we are going to populate this from our dot env process dot env dot tmdb api key we get all the movies then how the page will work because once you get the movies we got the access you can print all of them export movies coming from data then you just run a for each and access, uh, print the title and the overview about each and every movie but for that you need to have you need to get this key first that key will give you all the apis i mean if you don't want to do it like this you can just print all the the blog posts and all those things now let's see how it is different from rendering the posts on the swelled component and rendering the movies using page.server right here we were using the the load function 
and here we are using the page server load function right server side load function this is a client side load functions so let's see the difference so let's see the difference here what we are doing is i put a console log in the post load function fetch post client side and in the page server dot uh, ts server load function is running just uh, you can put random console messages and npm run dev what i'm doing is you see this is client side and you can see this console is coming out right now if i just change it to movies what will happen no console right but it is printing here server load function is running and because this is not something which is executing at the client side it is executed at the server side and then it is render building the content and rendering it and this is the, the posts you can see this page has been rendered and then these ids are generated and if you talk about movies i mean from this you won't be able to understand how things are happening but this is the the load function which is running at the server side because this is page dot server dot ts it's fetching the data and then only page is getting rendered if you see uh, let's and then i'm reloading this page movies then first the the load function is running and then the page is getting rendered first that will happen and then it will render okay and the the posts the fetch post the this load function is the client side okay so for the client side functions the the server is not responsible to fetch the data and feed it right it gives you the data then client will make a request and get the data and then the data is rendered on the page but on the server side function until unless the request is not available let's uh, we are using page server dot ts and let me just change it to okay so if we if we look into the documentation whatever we are defining the load function inside a page dot js and the layout dot js i mean they they get the universally exported load function from uh server page dot ts or page dot js or layout dot js right but when it comes to the page dot server dot js this is something which is running only on the server side and this is something which runs both on the server and the browser i mean there are differences but it's little confusing that the load function you are writing in the page.ts layout.ts also runs in the the browser so i need to check the documentation how the re, the major difference is but when you want to run things only at the client side like the you want to make a xhr call from the client side you can use the lifecycle hook on mount so the component will be rendered and then on mount will be triggered from the client side and it will fetch the data and, and then it will act like a client side swell to js building the page right so here we are using page.svelte that gets the the data from the page.ts or we are using the page.svelte which gets the data from the page.server.ts we have seen both the examples here page.server.ts a server side load function and in the post this is the both i mean it runs on the both and we have seen in the console logs it's coming uh, at the client side also whatever you are putting here inside a console.log okay next thing we will talk about a small application which is doing dynamic routing and how the components are published we can talk about this how we load the data i mean this is also interesting read to understand I mean, in the plus page dot swelt, we file can have a sibling like page dot js page dot ts, and that exports the load function, and it provides this data inside, pro, uh, returning this data, which we can access using data dot post. So we can access data dot post dot title, which we have seen. Similarly, slug slug is the dynamic parameter which we can access using params dot slug, and this is server side load function right this is page dot server dot js or page dot server dot ts this uh, a load function is a page dot js file runs on both server and the browser if your load function should always runs on server 
because it uses the private environment variables for example accessing the database and all in that case you don't want to expose the load feature load function features and the client side you can use page.server.ts or .js and here you can make a communication to the database directly or the apis similarly like page.ts or page.js there is a layout.js or layout.ts there also you can write a load function similarly layout.server.ts layout.server.js there also you can write a load function and the only difference is in the .server.js and .server.ts you will write a server side function okay like and it will also it, it will also have a sibling called layout.svelte like page.ts is having sibling page.svelte page.server.ts is having sibling page.svelte i mean <laughs> these things are a little confusing from the name but these are easy right how we are writing our code like if you remember what is the pairing we are doing if you look into this code page.svelte is the component so the sibling can be page.server.ts or page.ts for the apis it will always be server.ts like the posts right here the load function is defined in the page.ts so it will have a sibling page.svelte similarly the layout layout can also have a plus layout.ts or plus layout.server.ts something like this plus layout dot ts or layout.server.ts this will run at the server side this will run at the client side server side both layout.ts and the layout.svelte is a sibling svelte component and it will get the exported load function from the layout.ts and layout.server.ts okay i think it's a little interesting how these things really works okay these are uh, this is how we get the page data that you can also populate in the store and this you already know the difference page.ts ts layout.js layout.ts exports the load function that runs on client and server and page.server.js and ts runs only on the server side okay i mean this is pretty much uh, how we are fetching the data we are using the fetch functions in the the load function we can use the fetch function which will just you can use uh, some external api call to get the data and also we can access the cookies the request everything can be accessed here like uh, if you are writing an apis then you can access the request like this is fetch set headers this is using fetch and how we are passing the data basic basic things okay i mean this is pretty much uh, how we load the data then we'll talk about the form actions and build some small applications in swell kit